the seed is the most powerful thing in any plant. Mm -hmm. If you control the seed, and that's and that's what GMO is. It's mm -hmm. that you have all these big <coughs> companies mm -hmm. that have patented seeds. Like you, you cannot just plant a GMO seed. Mm -hmm. There's someone who has the patent to that seed, and they can sue you for planting it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of GMO uh, plants don't give you seeds. So you plant it, but there's no seed because you can't regrow it. Mm -hmm. If you want seed, you have to go back to the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if people control the seed then essentially, as you're saying, they control you because all foods, all plants ultimately start from the seed. So we have to be careful on what we are introducing here. We yeah. might be introducing a dependency that we would not be able to get out of. This might be the new colonial way because remember colon colonization is still here with us. Mm -hmm. The West are still trying as much as possible to find a way of colonizing Africans. They, they stopped uh, coming here to colonize us physically and they have to find another way of colonizing us. Okay. And the seed might be the next frontier of colonization. Okay. So we have to be careful on, on the conversation on GMO. But number two, I agree with my brother that GMO, there must be clear labeling of GMO and non-GMO mm -hmm. and giving the consumer the right to choose what they want. Okay. Unfortunately, you will not be choosing because the GMO is going to be cheaper. Mm -hmm. And in an economy where you choose the cheapest thing, you are going to consume GMO. And you'll say, 